Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run. It's been a while since we saw Lilith, although that being said, I've not really been playing quite as consistently as perhaps in the past I should have been. In the past as perhaps I should have been. So, uh, I kind of, I've, um, Lilith has grown on me, like a tumour. Uh, in that, when we first played with Lilith, which was very early on in, <clears throat> in Afterbirth, very soon after it came out, Lilith was such a new character and such a new style of play. I had no idea what I was doing. It was like I was launched back into the... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Like I was launched back into the very early days of playing Isaac at all when I didn't really have any fine motor control or any of the understanding of how to control the game. Of course, the understanding of how the enemies work, the patterns that you see, that transfers across two battle charges. It's very nice. That transfers across, so I wasn't completely at a disadvantage. It's not oh, that was terrible. What am I doing? Seriously though. I've forgotten how to play. <clears throat> See here is what happens when you forget how uh, how that works. Step point five apparently does nothing as Lilith, which is a super mega shame because it has such potential. Because you've now got an <laughs> I've got a laser stuck to my forehead, and it's behind my bandage, so I still can't use it. That seems like shit, Tyrone. Sort this shit out. But now that we're um, a little bit more experienced with Lilith, I actually kind of prefer her as one of the more obscure and yet fun characters to play. There's so many of these battery charges, we should just use this straight away. Here we go. Um, with with the box of friends to start off with, obviously we can just double our firepower whenever we have the opportunity to do so. But our firepower is not where the enemies are going. It's, it's lagging behind. So, it's sort of a balance between positioning, which is a very important part of Isaac, and um, once you understand how the enemies behave, positioning is a very important part. You've got to stand in the right place, make sure the enemies can't attack you, can't corner you, aren't going to bear you down. And this is pretty shit as well. Uh, but also, so that you're in the right position to have a good offensive stand point. Basically what I'm trying to say is you've got to be in the right position to both shoot and not be shot. Oh God. I should have picked up a battery charge. Why did I just walk in here without a battery charge? That is very foolish. Very minor misplay, but it could cost us... Oh, I'm hiccuping now. What's going on? Uh, it could cost us some time and feasibly a reasonable amount of damage because the longer Ragman takes to actually you know, fall to pieces... Wow, thank you for the people. I know I shat on you by going, oh my god, this is shit, when I picked you up. But in fact, you've just taken apart two of those heads, which could have turned into spiders and made my life miserable. So, thank you for that. The longer Ragman takes to die, the more chance we have of being hit by one of these errant homing shots. And as mentioned, Lilith's gimmick, but also challenge at the same time. It's a, it's a gimmicky challenge. Uh, is that where you're shooting from is not where your character is, so you have to sort of think doubly hard about positioning. Or, or, I don't tend to think about positioning, to be fair, it's just a thing. You know, you get used to it and you have to re-remember how to position yourself correctly as Lilith, anyway. We're going to come back and get a battery charge so that we can at least use it on this boss, and hopefully we'll have enough HP to make the curse room worthwhile. And I may consider doing a little bit more exploration. It is an XL floor, so we want to be out of here by approximately five minutes. Should give us a about a minute after we've done this monster fight, which is kind of what I expected to be there. Oh, why did I walk into that? Not doing too well here. Um, all right, don't get disheartened. Keep your game face on. Keep your poker face on. Keep your poker chips on. When the chips are down, uh, have. The heaters. I don't know. Give me a load. Ooh, Squeezy is great. It also gives us two spirit hearts, which means we can feel much more comfortable about taking this deal with the devil. <sighs> I'm thinking this is an interesting daily, and this is going to be a point of um, forever. It's going to be a point of division amongst the populace. I, I would very strongly believe because some people would suggest that it's a good idea to give up Box of Friends. And maybe take Satanic Bible, which would at least make up for the fact that without Box of Friends, you're liable to take more damage because you're in 
less of a, a DPS strong position over time. As mentioned, if you can't use Box of Friends every so often, you stand to take more damage just from Ranger. Oh, great. We'll take Stands to take more damage just from the fact that you're not killing stuff quite as fast. Oh, I moved. I shouldn't have moved. That's not how you deal with that room at all. More for me. Um, so the Satanic Bible will replace your uh, black hearts as you go through. That was really bad dodging. Which is fair. Some people may suggest that what you should have done is taken one and put it back, kept Box of Friends, but gone with the precedence. Uh, Devil Precedent is probably quite strong. It would have left us without any red HP. Which is true. Uh, which means that the next deal with the Devil, we would have to have actually found red HP, basically, before we went to it. That was a bit of a wash, wasn't it? That's unfortunate. I chose to do neither. We're going to keep our red HP. Because HP is HP. It's good for you. But we're not going to take the satanic bible to replace that HP. We're just going to stay with it as we are. And this means that we're quite likely to get an angel room instead of a devil room on the next deal with the devil. The next time you earn one. The next time the door opens, it could be a white door instead of a dark black door. Which I think is going to be the major rift between uh, players of this game is whether they have an angel run or a devil run. And honestly, there are some pretty decent items you can get from angel runs that we haven't seen in quite a while because we don't tend to consider angel runs to be that valuable because by and large, the stuff you can get from angel runs is pretty shit. Don't mind saying that. But sometimes if you pick the right time to take the plunge, go for an angel run, God, the scissors is just so bad. It could turn out that we are in the right. It seems unlikely. Basically, because it is unlikely, because angel runs have such a strong chance to turn out bad. You never know. Maybe we pull ahead of the general populace and by picking up something amazing like Godhead and Holy Mantle, take way less damage. Or maybe we miss out on something awesome like Mega Blast, you know, Death Touch the packs mark all the decent items of devil items basically all the good hp uh sorry all the good damage upgrades all the piercing shots and things like that there are many damage upgrades of course that you can get outside of devil rooms just in item rooms but our item rooms have been absolute hope hope for us today and i honestly don't give a rat's ass about them that's the thing we say in england right rat's ass i mean I know in the States they say a rat's ass, but we don't say ass in the UK, so I assume we have the same phrase. That ding, I figured out what it is. I think we had one a few days ago on the Darkest Dungeon. It is a previous episode finishing its rendering, and I should check to see whether I can tell it not to make that noise, please. I do not want this room, but I don't want to use my box of friends because we don't have any battery charges lying around, and we've got the boss coming out. We'll go to the boss now. We've seen everything we can care to. Oh, it's good. Well, we're going to be shooting twice as fast, and it is the good that only produces familiars, so we can sort of stand where we want to and try to avoid being shot. So I think it's going to be the right way. We've got twice as many eyeballs floating around, and twice as many uh, incubodes, giving us some good damage, but we haven't had really a damage upgrade of any description. Both boss items were quite defensive, although we did get a good tears upgrade from Squeezy, so it can't be too salty. It is an angel room, and I will take crackjacks, which will cause us to get some. Uh... Ooh. Do I like this? Maybe. Demon's Tail, I think, just causes us to get black hearts rather than red hearts, which for now is good. I'm not sure whether it decreases the, the occurrence of red hearts that then become black hearts in order that we get way fewer black hearts than we would have red hearts. But we don't need red hearts anyway, so who gives a toss? I believe we have two red hearts right now. Heart containers anyway. And they are both full because otherwise we'd be able to get into the boss trap room and they can't. 
I would like Incubus to be in the correct place here. Thank you. We don't it. Got it. So, our first item from the Angel has been this Swarm Protector. I'm not sure what it does. I'm pretty sure it's just a, a protective orbital. Um, I don't know whether it does anything special differently from what things like Cube of Meat would do. Perhaps it does. Please have way less HP. Thank you. But, I guess we'll see. It seems to be going quite quickly. I, I have a feeling its main difference is that it just goes faster. I don't know if I can use it offensively, so I'm not going to try. We may find out by accident. Man, Peeper's eye, the Peeper there, actually doing okay damage. If it ever intersects with anything, ever in its entire existence, which is... Hmm. Of limited happen spells. Shall we put it that way? That's diplomacy for it never fucking happens. But when it does happen, which in the literal translation, interpretation of never is obviously never, uh, when it does happen in the colloquial translation of never, which is sometimes fine, uh, it's, it's okay. It does do some good damage. It just has to actually hit things. Uh, Swarm Protector just collected a couple of shots for us there, which kind of makes me feel a bit better about <clears throat> my terrible dodging. It does seem to be... <coughs> my voice is really not working right now, apparently. Uh, it does seem to be offensive, which is extremely dangerous, because now I am tempted to use it offensively. And I don't mean by making your mom jokes with it. I mean I'm going to try and get enemies with it. Do all my damage that way. I've taken reasonably little damage for saying that we are playing as Lilith right now. This could be good. We should get rid of these uh, fires ASAP so they don't shoot us and hurt us. And I think I will min-max to the point where we push this up here. Try not to get shot by the fire. And use the bomb on the floor rather than our own bombs because we only have three of our own bombs. Doesn't seem like enough for any purpose. Careful there. Trying <laughs> very hard not to accidentally explode the bomb. Before we're done. Uh, do I care for Isaac's head? Probably not as much as I care for Demon's Tail, though. I'm not sure if Demon's Tail is actually that good either. We found our item room already, and I am trying to go faster because we do seem to find ourselves often in a a bit of a sitch whereby we can't actually um, get to Boss Rush. By the way, we're going to Ice uh, to Satan. So this means. Turn into the other phase so that I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Uh, this means that we will have to do Hush and Boss Rush to compete. Don't do that. Oh, my nose as well. Man, this is not a good day to be recording. Why am I trying? Um, oh, here we go. We need to do Boss Rush and Hush to compete, which is going to be extremely boring if we don't get any uh, damage upgrades. In fact, if we don't get any damage upgrades, there's a good chance that we can't actually get to Hush. Even if we do, this doesn't seem like the sort of run where we're going to be able to contend with Hush. I mean, the Hush is a very long fight, even when you're going completely out of control. Doing extremely well uh, in terms of damage. The speed upgrade really doesn't help us. I mean, we might as well go to the shop. We do have 15 cents, and it could, could just push us over the edge a little bit. Box of Flies is so good. Uh, Jar of Flies is so good, but is it better than Boxed Friends as Lilith when we need to do Boss Rush? I'm saying no. Now let's go in here and hit this twice. It's a couple of extra coins, but that's not why. The reason why is that we can go back here, go and get this boss trap room, get some mad points for doing so, uh, but also anything that happens to be inside it. It's going to be breakfast. A ticket to here, which is a all stats up, which puts us on three red HP, and we can still open this, which is tremendous. But an I can see forever pill, which will have, help us find the other secret room. Oh, now we can't open it at all. That's a bugger. Well, that is a bugger, actually. I'm just gonna go uh, via this room, I suppose. Health up. That's really good. Look down. I can see forever. Maybe beats the Empress. I mean, we're not really 
using the Empress, I'm not thinking of using the Empress. We could find another card, but being able to find both secret rooms is good for points, if nothing else. And there could be something tremendous on the secret room that we otherwise wouldn't look for, i.e. the super secret room. We got ourselves a free uh, angel deal just now, which is kind of lucky. I wouldn't suggest that um, we ever want to rely on that. Health up again. So honestly, I'm actually going to drop this uh, demon's tail because now we have three telepills, no. three empty red heart containers, and therefore I would like to have red hearts again, please. And demon's tail was it maybe gave us one black heart, the one that we got at the end of the previous fight. That's it. Doesn't seem to be um, that exciting. That door will open when our total number of HP uh, is equal to the number of red heart containers that we have. So we need, what, well, two and a half red hearts plus one and a half, not red hearts, so we need like half a heart. Another half a heart and we'll be done. Uh, some more cash is great, don't mind it. Let's go in here, get another double charge on our box of friends and that will allow us to use it. Ooh, okay. I really hate these things because the incentive is to charge them down and try and get as many shots in as you can before they change direction. But every now and then that change of direction is directly into you and suddenly you're charging headlong in a game of chicken against something that is basically going to win it. Because it's not going to take any damage from you running into it, that's for sure. Although, if you do it right with Incubus, I suppose you can um, try and hit it and then dodge and continue to hit it. I don't know. It's a very unlikely turn of events, irrespective of how you play it. So just go down here and shoot that. And then we'll go up here and put that there, and then we'll go down here and put this there. And then we'll pick up this here. Can we even get Incubus in there? No, we can't. Good, that one's gone. Throw it that way, don't mind. It's also good. Great. Get a couple of coins in the ballsy dodge, which honestly. The more you do that um, manoeuvre, the less ballsy it becomes and the more sort of second nature. Oh, I wasn't quite sure where to put myself. Oh, what's happening? Well, these things cause you to drop points, which is not something I was aware of. We just got Dark Bum from Cambian Conception, which lives, li 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 starts with, and I neglected to mention because I neglected to remember. Uh, Cambian Conception, of course, spawns are familiar when you take enough damage over the course of the game, which requires you to take enough damage over the course of the game, which means we've taken enough damage over the course of this game, which doesn't make me feel too great, but also we did get Dark Bum, and if there's anything that I would like to get out of the Candy Conception of Dark Bum, because it basically wins the game. It's just Acropolis 1, so we can do the boss straight away. That's a power pill, which would have been great on this fight, specifically this fight, because fuck Brownie. With a rake. Or, you know, some emulsifying stuff that would cause a great deal of distress to what is essentially a giant turd. Thank you to... Ooh, we have actually got a deal with the devil, so we may have done this correctly. We've got uh, Judas' Shadow. Which is very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. I'm going to take Judas' Shadow. And this. Oh, this is very dangerous. I forgot Missing Page 2 gave you a black heart, to be fair. And then at some point we're going to kill ourselves and go to the next... Oh, we're going suddenly very slowly. The Necropolis will slow you down to such a great extent if you don't have the, uh, the extra firepower required to get through it. Because there's so many more enemies that are much tougher. I think it's a bit of an extra hike that you didn't necessarily expect. Dagars. Oh, I should have saved it. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find Dagars room. There is a Dagars room. We'll use answers now. We'll take Perthro to the item room. But we're going to use Dagars because it will give us an extra HP. And once we become... Oh, what I want to do is turn ourselves into Dark Judas because that's a great damage upgrade and it stops us having to deal with Lilith, basically. We don't have to deal with the crap anymore. The Incubus crap. Now, that may devalue Box of Friends, which we will keep. 
Oh, that's amazing too. Because Box of Friends somewhat relies on us having Incubus. I mean, it's, it's valuable mostly for Incubus. Oh, stop taking the Spirit Hearts though. But where do we kill ourselves? Good question. We're not going to make it to Bosra, so we should give that up. But it means we might be able to make it to Hush. If we do it right. Oh, we're taking so much HP all of a sudden. I'd like to sell it all if possible. Hmm. We should use this here. Oh, I'm, th I'm thinking. My, my brain is not working. I would like to become Dark Judas now. But, of course, every single time I took HP, I went, Why the fuck did you take the HP, you dumbass? Dark buns don't merge, which is annoying. They don't sort of share notes. Right, we haven't done this room, so you can't just run straight through it. We should definitely turn ourselves into Dark Judas. It seems like a silly idea not to. Because the damage upgrade will be amazing. And we can forget about Dark, dark Bum. We can forget about Boss Rush, because it's basically just about to pass. Question marks is exposed to diarrhea, which we will run away from, like the cowards that we are. I mean, we could just kill ourselves. It's a, it's a lot of HP and a lot of damage penalty to do so. We might as well just, you know, kill ourselves on this. Respawn as Dark Judas, and then we have free reign of what we do with our um. Oh. Tech point five is now working. I forgot we had it. We have free reign of what we do with our spacebar item. We can keep it. Because we do have things that will become duplicated. It's just they're not offensively that great. We can replace it if we so desire. If we can. That can that time's kinda of passed. I forgot my day guys were in. Um, that's me again. I should probably try and remember the things that I tell myself, right? <laughs> And there's a day guys room, and you intend to take it down to the next floor so that you can A, cure uh, a curse, and B, get a spirit heart. You should actually probably just remember that and follow through with it. We've got a load of spiders because we took spider baby ages ago, and every time we take some damage, we you know, gain the spider. And when we killed ourselves, we took so much damage that we gained a shitload of spiders. We can go in here, which we should do. We can always use our power pill if we get scared, which we may do. Yeah, I've got Dark Bum, of course, so with the um, the HP situation is not um, tremendously scary. Apart from the fact that I just took some very silly damage. I'm trying to dodge in the wrong direction to get around the, uh, the, the Dark One there. We're done here. That's good. Don't really care about having missed Boss Rush, although it is a daily, so the points and the item that we could have got are... Well, both something that I would prefer to have than to have missed. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. There is some HP, because you've got them. So we're rocking on spirit hearts, but we have a generator for them. Uh, it's not uncommon to have spirit heart runs, but... It is uncommon to have something that would generate them. On, on a semi-regular basis. I mean, Dark Bum only takes one and a half red HP to make one... Spirit Heart, which doesn't always necessarily become a Spirit Heart, it could be a unfriendly spider, that would be a less than optimal situation, but we'll live with it, it's got to take the rough with the smooth, Dark Bum can't be perfect all the time, none of us can be perfect all the time, except me, which is patently false because of how many stupid misplays I've made on this exact run. Lemon. Lemon party, fine. I'm gonna sneeze, so I'll just keep talking until it happens. <coughs> and then flail a little bit. <coughs> it's important to make sure you um, use body language to express quite how uncomfortable you find the sneeze. Preferably, preferably by flailing in some uncontrolled manner. We have just picked up Pyromaniac, which means we are now immune to mom's foot stamping down on our heads. So we might as well finish this floor. We're not getting any points doing boss rush because we can't get to boss rush so we can get points for exploration instead. So fast. See, everything's dying super fast now. If we've had this um, 
I'm just thinking maybe what I should have done is killed ourselves as soon as we picked up Dark Judas. We would have been going so much faster already. But if nothing else, we would have had uh, the tech point five for all the previous rooms that have slowed us down. We wouldn't have been contending with Lilith's slightly awkward turret arrangement. We'll do this. Credit card. That can get us a free deal with the devil. So no doubt we want to take this. And this is probably worth it too. We'll leave. We're going... We're only going to Satan, but I think at this stage we're not quite in a position where we're happy to skip so many floors in order to do that teleport play. I'm going to go to the cursed room as well. Just because A, it's a room we haven't you know, been to yet. This was extremely not good. I'm going to take the damage. <laughs> Okie dokie. I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. Um, we don't want to do the self-sacrifice teleport yet because we don't have much HP in order to facilitate it. And besides which... Secret room. We... We want to wait a bit longer. I'm pretty sure we want to wait a bit longer. We we'll look for magic mushroom. Magic mushroom would extremely help out right now. So, um, Liberty cap is okay. I can I see can forever will help us find the other secret. Forever. <clears throat> Get into our shop. We've already been into our shop. We could take the ladder. I don't really want to. Thanks for the offer. We will take the eternal heart for at least on the next floor. And we'll go and fight Mom, which we should have done ages ago. But I mean, it's not like we have to worry about boss rush. We were on the wrong floor when that ticked over, so and it's not super bad. Rotten Baby is not something that should be ignored, by the way. We did pick that up from the deal with the devil. The same one that got us Dark Judas. Yeah. Oh, hello, Grandpa. Fancy meeting you. Uh, Rotten Baby is producing flies on a regular basis now. I've forgotten about this or orbital that we got as well. Uh, which. Combined with our tear damage is actually doing extremely well for us. I think we had extra speed on that floor because of Liberty Cap. On that room because of Liberty Cap. Which was kind of surprising because I was moving extremely quickly and I didn't really know what to do about it. Unfortunately, we didn't get an opportunity to use credit card, which is very common for credit card. Sometimes you have credit card and you're thinking, you know, I'll, I'll use it on a deal with the devil because it'll make the deal with the devil free. But then the deal with the devil has something like Empty Vessel or Horror of Babylon on it. So you go, well, I won't use it on this deal with the devil because I want to spend all my HP on this deal with the devil. So do that. And you think, well, I'm not going to use it on a shop. Because if you use credit card on a shop, the best I get is 15 cents. And who needs an extra 15 cents when the credit card is so valuable? So then you save it until the next deal with the devil, which ends up being a three deal, three chess deal or something like that. So you never use it anyway because there's nothing to spend the HP on. And then eventually you get to the point where you just never have the opportunity to spend your use your credit card on any deals with the devil or shops because they all sucked or were so or were better off not credit card. Oh. I'm fairly confident that Monstro doesn't hurt when he's dying, but I am not going to run that risk if I don't have to. Wow, we're doing a lot of damage. Tech point five combined with these nine inch nails combined with the Dark Judas damage upgrade. Is extremely good. Oh, what are you doing? You get the extra flies every so often, thanks to Rotten Baby. We're not Guppy, of course, which would be a, an amazing transformation just before the uh, just before the hush fight if we can swing that. But I think we have presently zero Guppy items, so it doesn't seem likely um, by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, it's not a secret room. Don't walk on the spikes. Good job. Well done. Self. I'm coaching myself in the art of Isaac. And 10.5 is such a good item. When it works. That is a secret. It is lost contact, which I think I'm going to take. If you don't mind. Get some cash as well. We got a... There's a shop on the hush fight. So a bit of cash doesn't go amiss. Man, Dark Bum is getting so many... Stuff... So many stuff. That's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, so many red hearts. He's paying out like a champ. Do I want to be over there? I don't think I do. Um, reason being. Oh, thank you. Um, 
already found a secret room, so it's not next to the curse room, but I will go for the curse room anyway because I'm a fool. The reason that we don't want to do that is we only have one red HP, so the blood bank will actually be taking spirit hearts if we try to use it. Although it could uh, produce red hearts for us, and therefore the dark bum could give them back, not at the same rate. We've only got three minutes, so let's just let's not do this room. Oh, I think we're doing this room. I can't see anything. I can't see where my shots are. Oh, also we seem to have um Little Brimstone, which is actually a, a very nice item. Which certainly helps us. Combined with ooh, another deal with the devil. Don't mind if I do. The trail is actually shit, so I'm basically not gonna take it. Combined with our tech point five, we now have two beam weapons that can reach right across the floor. Or the room. Just need to get out of here. Do something able. It's not able, it's time to shine. We might not make it to Hush, which I'm okay with because I hate fighting Hush, but also I feel like we're not in much of, enough, much of a position to uh, compete if we don't fight the Hush, so you know, it is what it is. I'm going to keep Liberty Cap. don't really much rate the left hand. It does cause a lot of red chests to drop, and red chests can give us guppy transformation, but I think the chance of it happening any time when it's valuable for us is essentially zero. Why don't you take that? I would like to give this person here some HP. But in fact, I'm just going to explode him. Nope, nothing for me. Okay. Oh, we really need. We, can, we have to beat the boss within the next like, 30 seconds, which is just not going to happen. And that could help us do it. What hell is it? Honestly, I didn't even want a credit card to get Betrayal. That's how bad I consider Betrayal to be. It's really annoying. It just causes you to have to pause every time you um, take any form of damage. Just so that the entire room can... Oh, I thought that thing was going to change direction for some reason. I was sort of mistaken. We're not going to get to Hush. So there's no point trying. We will make the most of this floor. There's an extra life here as well. Okay. A one-up. That's pretty sweet. Wonder if it contributes to the fun guy transformation. It may do. I expect it to. It is a mushroom item. It's a very rare transformation to achieve, and I don't think it's that great, to be honest. Pick up the bomb. Well, we didn't make it to Hush, and look at all the ships I do, to be honest. The Hush is a dull, dull fight. We do have a, a decent amount of damage, which could make it happen, but it's also. It's still really boring, so I don't care. Um, we should probably think about looking for a way to get past the Satan fight. If we can teleport on this floor, we should try to, so... Oh, we have lost contact, of course we do. Put mad paid to... Oh, sorry about the expression, but... It puts paid to any bullet heli type enemies like that one. So. Self-sacrifice. Let there be self-sacrifice. Can I see the room here? You'll see the room. It is not. There's a boss trap room. There's a few extra points, but not really what we're looking for. There's an arcade which contains same old shit. Honestly, when I saw that there was a boss trap room down here, it should have been a clue that there was no uh, self-sacrifice room. So we're hoping, basically, that there's a self-sacrifice room on the shelf. So that's where we're going. There is isn't. We haven't done too well because we haven't managed to get to boss rush or hush. I'm going to take blind rage. I really like it. Uh, I'm wondering if it will let us get some plays out of this. So let's do three. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm doing it anyway. Yes. Yes, it's worth it. It's a damage and range and one more contribution to spun. Which is, of course, three. Two drop. Uh, three of those 
syringe items is spun, which is a plus two damage upgrade, or times two even. I think it's plus two. Why will my nose not stop itching, please? Can we talk about this? Let's go down. Oh. <sighs> We're not very strong, we haven't done boss rush or hush, although we did go fast to try and get to boss rush or hush. And it didn't actually work out for us, unfortunately. We can now make good use out of um, boss friends by having two little brimstones, but it's kind of difficult to get them in the right place. Which is a problem. Also, in order to do the self sacrifice room, we have to have enough HP. And we're done, <laughs> basically. We did spend some on um, synth oil, which I think was actually well worth it. Damage and the, well, the damage upgrade, the range upgrade is not that great, not that useful. Uh, the Empress will help us against Satan in the first place. Wow, you actually hit me. I am impressed and also dismayed. Hello? So if you can't, you know, get past this floor... We at least have the Empress to help us get through the Satan fight without taking too much damage. Please, this enemy. All these enemies, you just have to orbit and hope that they go away. Uh, Dark Bum? No, nothing for Dark Bum. Dark Bum's our saving grace on this entire floor uh, run because... I see, have you noticed how I always say one level of magnitude lower than the thing that I'm trying to represent in speech? So if I want to talk about the floor, I'll talk about the room, and if I want to talk about the run, I'll talk about the floor. If I want to talk about the game, I'll talk about the run. But there's probably enough to limit. Use this. Ooh. We're immune to explosions, so fuck you everything in this entire game. You can also intercept all enemy bullets by shooting incessantly, so as long as we continue to do that, we should be fine. That's that part of safe done. If we didn't use the Empress, we're going to use it now. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea. I don't know if it makes us immune to Satan's feet being immune to explosive damage. But uh, we're going to let Dark Bum take that. I mostly wanted to make sure that the wrong Dark Bum didn't take that just now. So that worked out. The Magician is pretty shit. But there could still be a self-sacrifice. There is a self-sacrifice room. Da -da -da -da, dark Bum, take this. Give me a spirit heart. That's a spider. Yeah, dick. We have an extra life, so we can self-sacrifice ourselves until we go completely over the top. Should we? Maybe. First. We do have two orbitals. Where did we get the other one? There was a death fight a while ago. Picked up Cuban meat, didn't really mention it. There's another fairly decent offensive orbital, so if you can get in without taking damage... Probably worth trying to do so. With the lump of coal, our shots are actually fairly potent. There's a full card, there's a credit card. Uh, I don't know. Neither of them seems remotely useful to them. Maybe the fool could be good if we got into a curse room? Is there a curse room? I don't even know if we have curse rooms down here. There's certainly not a curse room on the dark room, right? It's gotta be. Can't be a curse room on the dark room. I've never seen one anyway. We never picked up flight. Flight is usually the thing we want to go with the Emperor. Interesting. That would allow us to skip the entirety of the dark room. Which could be a good idea. Not them paying out like a motor. It's amazing. Might as well use this. Why the hell not? Go, he's dead. This started off as a Lilith run, don't forget. You remember that? The old days? Oh, I let the other Dark Bum pick it up, maybe. Never know. So that's all the HP on this floor. We could look for secret rooms, which might be here. It's not here. It also might be up here. Yes. Could also contain red HP. Bombs could be useful, I don't know. We just need to successfully make it. Oh right, we have a blind rage which makes this take ages. We even come back. Drop it. It's a pain in the ass. We have to make sure we pick it up before we get teleported though, so... 
don't really have enough HP to do this, I'm fairly sure. Unless it drops a crap ton of HP at some point. Uh, what is that, though? Oh. Well, we only have one HP, so... I guess we won't be doing that. That's very unfortunate. I wasn't sure what 1-Up would do for us. But it didn't do what we needed it to do, which was to give us more than 1 HP. It seems like, yeah, 460th. I think that's a very generous rank for saying how badly we did. We could have obviously increased that greatly by doing what we were supposed to do. The two rush fights that would have given us plenty of money. And if we'd had uh, well, plenty of points. And if we had actually managed to have enough HP to play that room. Or a perks pill or anything really. That would have been great for us as well. But we didn't. So here we are. Thank you for watching. We did very fast. <laughs> in terms of time. Normally we're way down in time. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly was playing. Um, and I hope that you'll enjoy me. <laughs> I hope that you'll enjoy me tomorrow. Good day.